Welcome to the Electrical Power Systems LLC Company Channel. The place where we illuminate the world of electrical engineering. I'm your guide through this electrifying journey. On this channel, we dive deep into the fascinating world of electrical engineering, exploring its principles, applications, and practical techniques. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced enthusiast, we've got you covered. Get ready to amplify your understanding of electrical engineering on the Electrical Power Systems LLC Company channel. Let's charge ahead together. What is the overtopping system and how it works? An overtopping system is a type of wave energy converter, WEC, that uses the kinetic energy of waves to generate electricity. The system works by allowing waves to break over a barrier, which causes water to flow into a reservoir. The water in the reservoir then flows through a turbine, which generates electricity. Overtopping systems can be either onshore or offshore. Onshore systems are typically located in areas with high wave energy, such as near the coast. Offshore systems can be located in deeper water, where wave energy is more abundant. Overtopping systems have several advantages over other types of WECs. They are relatively simple to design and build and they can be installed in a variety of water depths. Overtopping systems are also relatively efficient, and they can generate electricity even in low wave conditions. However, overtopping systems also have some disadvantages. They can be susceptible to damage from storms, and they can have a negative impact on marine life. Overtopping systems are also relatively expensive to install, and they may not be economically feasible in all areas. Despite the challenges, overtopping systems have the potential to be a significant source of renewable energy. They are a promising technology for the future, and they are being actively developed by researchers and engineers around the world. How overtopping systems work? The barrier that allows waves to break over is typically made of concrete or steel. The reservoir is typically located above the turbine, and it is designed to hold a certain amount of water. The turbine is typically a low head turbine, which means that it can operate with a small difference in water level. The electricity generated by the turbine is then fed into the power grid. Overtopping systems are a relatively new technology, but they have the potential to be a significant source of renewable energy. They are a promising technology for the future. What are the different types of overtopping wave energy converters WECs? There are two main types of overtopping wave energy converters. Fixed overtopping wave energy converters. These devices are anchored to the seabed and remain in one place. Floating overtopping wave energy converters. These devices float on the surface of the water and can move with the waves. Fixed overtopping wave energy converters are typically more efficient than floating overtopping wave energy converters, but they are also more expensive to install. Floating overtopping wave energy converters are less expensive to install, but they can be more difficult to control and can be more susceptible to damage from storms. Here are some of the most common types of overtopping wave energy converters. Tapchen. This device is a fixed overtopping wave energy converter that consists of a tapered channel that allows waves to break over a barrier and flow into a reservoir. The water in the reservoir then flows through a turbine which generates electricity. Wave Dragon. This device is a floating overtopping wave energy converter that consists of a pair of floating arms that focus waves onto a slope from which the wave overtops into a reservoir. The resulting difference in water elevation between the reservoir and the mean sea level then drives low head hydro turbines. Power Buoy. This device is a floating overtopping wave energy converter that consists of a buoyant buoy with a reservoir on top. The reservoir is connected to a turbine below the water line. As waves pass over the buoy, they cause the water in the reservoir to rise and fall. This movement of the water drives the turbine, which generates electricity. Overtopping wave energy converters are a promising technology for the future of wave energy. They have several advantages over other types of wave energy converters, including their simplicity, ability to be installed in various water depths, and ability to generate electricity even in low wave conditions. However, 
Overtopping wave energy converters also have some challenges that need to be addressed before they can be widely deployed, such as their susceptibility to damage from storms and their potential impact on marine life. What are the different components of an overtopping wave energy converter WEC? The main components of an overtopping WEC are Wave Energy Converter This is the device that converts the kinetic energy of waves into electricity. Turbine This is the device that converts the kinetic energy of water into mechanical energy. Generator This is the device that converts the mechanical energy of the turbine into electrical energy. Power Conditioning System this is the system that converts the electrical energy from the generator into a form that can be used by the grid. Electrical collection system. This is the system that collects the electrical energy from the power conditioning system and transmits it to the grid. Mooring system. This is the system that anchors the WEC to the seabed or keeps it afloat. Control system. This is the system that controls the operation of the WEC. The specific components of an overtopping WEC will vary depending on the design of the device. However, all overtopping WECs will have these basic components. How is the efficiency of an overtopping WEC affected by wave height, wave period, and water depth? The efficiency of an overtopping WEC is affected by wave height, wave period, and water depth. Wave height. The efficiency of an overtopping WEC increases with wave height. This is because the amount of energy in a wave is proportional to its height. Wave period. The efficiency of an overtopping WEC is not significantly affected by the wave period. This is because the amount of energy in a wave is not significantly affected by its period. Water depth. The efficiency of an overtopping WEC decreases with water depth. This is because the amount of energy in a wave is reduced as it travels through deeper water. The efficiency of an overtopping WEC can be improved by increasing the wave height and reducing the water depth. However, these factors are not always under the control of the developer. Therefore, it is important to design an overtopping WEC that is efficient in a range of wave heights and water depths. What are the different ways to control an overtopping WEC? There are a number of ways to control an overtopping WEC. The most common methods are Turbine speed control. This method involves controlling the speed of the turbine by adjusting the pitch of the blades. This can be done manually or automatically. Reservoir level control. This method involves controlling the level of water in the reservoir by adjusting the flow of water through the turbine. This can be done manually or automatically. Active damping. This method involves using actuators to apply force to the WEC structure in order to dampen the motion of the waves. This can be done manually or automatically. The control system for an overtopping WEC is typically designed to maximize the amount of energy that is extracted from the waves while minimizing the risk of damage to the device. The specific control system that is used will depend on the design of the WEC and the specific application.